All right, so the first thing we need to do is remove our factory fog lights. And I've got these bolts in the wrong location here. I just reinstalled this um, from where they would be installed. It doesn't really matter which one, which position you put them in, but these are a T30 uh, star bit bolt, and the other ones are a 10 millimeter bolt. So you'll actually have two 10 millimeter bolts here. You'll have two on the top, and you'll remove those right here and right here. You'll remove those and this back cover is going to come off. Then that's going to leave two more, which should be the star uh, type here that are, that's holding the top part of the factory fog bracket in place. So you're just going to remove that and then it should come loose. Then you're just going to need to disconnect the factory connectors. All right, so once you get the back cover off, you're gonna to need to unplug these factory connectors right here. And you're gonna do so by pulling and sliding these little red clips back so that you can press down. See here, so you can press down on this little clip. So these have to slide back, those are locks, so that clip doesn't release. So now that we have our factory fogs out, we're gonna be able to take those housings and swap our lights out, and then we'll be able to reinstall those. All right, so here's our stock housing. As you can see, nothing has been removed from this yet, but you'll notice the screws right here. So the first thing you're gonna to need to do is remove these six screws. And once you do that, your housing is gonna look like this with the open hole. You're gonna have your screws and retainer clips just like this and you're gonna set those aside. You're not gonna need the clips anymore, but you are gonna need the screws, all right? So the next thing you're gonna do is we're gonna take our bracket, we're gonna put it on our housing here in the same location that it was before. We're gonna slide our spacers over top of these little screws and we're gonna put those in these six holes just like so. With our bracket here, as you can see, it has three mount points that completely stabilize the structure of that bracket. It's not gonna bend, it's not gonna sway, it's not gonna prematurely wear out those sockets where those screws are threaded into in that plastic where your lights fall out. That's never gonna happen because we've engineered this so that it's gonna be more functionally stable and it's going to be mounted in a more structural way to hold that light in place. So now we'll install our lights. You're going to get a set of brackets like this with the rigid SRM lights you're going to have these replacement screws that are going to fit into the new brackets and housing a little bit better and once you put those brackets here on the new rigid SRM lights just like so Notice the direction that this bracket is going because it's a little smaller on this side and a little longer on this side. You want to bring that down so it, it kind of centers the back side of that light a little bit better. All right. And then we're going to drop our carriage bolt that's the supplied hardware from Rigid in the back side of here. That's what's going to attach to our bracket. So your bracket, your bolt's going to go right through your, your additional bracket right here. And then that allows you to line up this light. You'll be able to slide it back and forth, side to side, and up and down so that you can get it centered in there just right so that it looks straight, it looks just like the other light, and you're gonna have a nice clean look. All right, so now we've got this one in here. You can see it's a little bit loose, so we can move it where we want. We can make sure we get everything centered. We can move it up or down on this bracket. And then once we get it to the place that we want, we can go ahead and tighten that down the rest of the way. Whether you end up with the Diode Dynamics or the Baja Designs S2 lights or the Rigid SRM, the way that they mount to the new brackets is basically the same. On the Baja, you're going to use the brackets that come with the light and you're going to mount them just like so. Notice that the bracket comes in and curves so that it's centered pretty well over the back side of the light. That's the idea is you want the bolt to come out toward the middle of the light. On the diode dynamics, you're also going to get a set of our brackets here that extend that out a little further to make it fit better in the housing. 
and you're going to put those bolts through the side there just like so again notice again notice the direction that this bracket goes because the post here is not in the very center you want to bring that in so it's when you want it to be positioned and facing this direction one thing about the diode dynamics they don't have a cord coming out of them so your plug goes here for your power you're also going to get our extender adapter just like this and that's going to plug in there so you'll need to have that plugged in before you put your bracket on once you have that cord coming out of there it's going to plug into your adapters and you'll be all set on the diode dynamics you've got the factory connector adapter here that's going to plug in like we talked about the problem is that it is a two-way connection not a three Diode Dynamics has the amber backlight as well, so we're going to have to get that power from somewhere else. So your adapter on the Diode Dynamics is slightly different. You're going to plug that into your extension harness here just like this. All right, and once you plug that in there, you'll be able to plug this portion into your factory connection. That's going to leave this white wire right here with this connector. All right, you're then going to get this additional harness that has two single connections on each side. You're gonna plug that into each of your lights, just like so. That's gonna go across one side to the other. You're gonna plug it into the other lights, just like so. And then this is going to go right up behind the passenger side headlight with a single connection that you can connect to a switch to turn the amber on and off through one of your auxiliary switch wires or it can plug directly into our marker adapter that plugs in on top of the grill to tie those ambers into the parking lights and marker lights from the factory so that they integrate in that way. When everything is done you'll be able to reuse these back covers just like they came to cover your lights. All right, so for installation, to make this a little bit easier because you got cords hanging and everything else, I just kind of started the two screws here on the top portion. So if you remember when you take this out, you take out the bottom ones and you take out these outer ones and the cover comes off, but the fog bracket is still in place because it still has these two underneath of that cover that it's bolted through. So to give us some play, and so this doesn't fall down, I put those two in, that way we can move this bracket to get to those factory connectors to plug those in for these adapters here for those factory connectors. So you can see now we've got our adapters plugged into both our fog connections and our lights, so we're good there. Now it's just a matter of getting that out of the way. Now, remember there are these there there are these little clips here that held the wire from the factory you can reuse those again you just need to get this again behind this panel when you get it in there so you can push these up into those clips and snap these wires in place and get those secure you can also get a couple zip ties if you want to and really get those kind of out of the way um, but once you get those up out of the way then we'll be able to put our cover back on and tighten the rest of our bolts down and we're good to go now we put our other remaining two screws in here to secure our back cover. As you can see, the cover fits just fine over top of the new replacement lights. And it looks just like it was, all factory again, and you're good to go. All right, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and visit us at spvparts.com to see this light kit and many others. And for those of you who want the triple lights back or the radiance lights back for your new gen Raptor, we have a solution for you. So to see that, check out our other videos. We're gonna have another video on this for the radiance, rigid radiance and D-series lights in the 2021 plus gen three Raptors as well. So visit us again at spvparts.com for those and check out our other videos to see the triple fog kit demonstration and installation as well for the new Gen 3 Raptors.